Jack White and Cops 3 match NRL ban for biting Tyson Gamble in Raiders' loss to Knights. South Sydney recruit Jack White and has received a three-match ban after being found guilty of biting Newcastle 5 8 Tyson Gamble during Canberra elimination final loss on Sunday. After an 80-minute hearing on Tuesday evening, the Judiciary Panel, chaired by Jeffrey Bellew SC and comprising Penrith great Tony Pulechua and former referee Paul Simpkins, took 20 minutes to reach its decision. The panel retired at 8 p.m. to consider its sentence, with Whiten's defense providing a character reference from Raiders legend and Kangaroos coach Mal Menninga in their push for a two-match ban. The NRL Council suggested a four-match ban, before the panel settled on three. The ban is shorter than that received by the last men's player charged for biting, ex-Gold Coast second rower Kevin Proctor in 2020, and lighter still than those handed to James Graham 12 games in 2012 and Brad Morin 8 in 2007 for the same offense. Both parties agreed the bite on Gamble's arm had been on the lower end of the scale in terms of severity, and posed a lower risk of injury than a bite to another area. Whiten is South Sydney's highest profile signing for 2024, and the ban is a blow to their hopes of making a fast recovery from their disappointing ninth-placed finish to this season. Whiten will notably miss the Rabbitohs, historic match against Manly in Las Vegas to begin 2024. Ordinarily, players could apply to count representative matches towards their ban, such as Australia's end-of-year matches. But Whiten won't be eligible, having announced his representative retirement earlier this year. The match review committee referred Whiten directly to the judiciary after he was placed on report just after halftime of the Knights' 30-28 win in Newcastle on Sunday. Gamble's forearm was wrapped around Whiten's chin while attempting a tackle, after which Gamble immediately claimed to referee Ashley Klein he had been bitten. Klein told the bunker he had seen a row of bite marks on Gamble's forearm but opted against sending Whiten from the field, instead placing him on report. Whiten entered a not guilty plea and appeared via video link before the judiciary, supported by Raiders football manager Matt Ford and chief executive Don Ferner. Defense counsel Nick Gabar did not dispute contact had been made with Gamble's forearm, but Whiten claimed the tackler had applied extreme pressure to the back of his head and his face. 